Good morning. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to use this mount here for the next little while. I'm not sure how that looks. We're still on 720p. So uh, after today's video, if I see that it's too wide angle, I'll uh, put it back to the other one. Just because a lot of people were complaining about my skeleton. And I'm going to be putting something else along there, which is even going to be more in the way. So until Halloween's over, we're going to put it there. But anyways, sun's coming up. Survey Bob, and it is 7.37 in the morning. Of course, we've been going since uh, much earlier than that. But anyways, we're in Bay Durfee, Quebec, which is just uh, west of Montreal. And we're at the door. I don't know how well you can see that, but they got a new type chalk system here. I've been here before. Uh, you guys may remember some of my other vlogs with the paper. Ooh, hitchy nose. Anyways, I'll try to remember to show you that one. I like that kind of wheel chalk system the best out of all of them. Well, I shouldn't say the best, but I like that one. Anyway, so we're here, and uh, yeah, so and from here we're going to be going to Grand B again. So, there you have it. Alrighty, all emptied out. Oops, helps if I release the brake in order to get going. We're on our way to Grand B. Start our wonderful, wonderful day of Grand B-ness. Doing the Granby. We're doing the Granby. Sounds like a dance. You know, kind of like the cha 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 or the rumba. We do the Granby. That's all we're going to do. Oh, the joy. I don't know what kind of day it's going to be because if you look to the right, it's all sunny, and if you look to the left, it's not so sunny. As you'll see in a second here. Oh, yeah. Don't want to go in the ditch, don't want to go in the ditch, don't want to go in the ditch. See, told you it's all cloudy that way. But we gotta go southeast-ish. To Granby, so we're gonna see what's going on in that way. Hopefully it'll be sunny. We'll shunt a bunch of trailers. And then uh, start running trailers into door valves. We might run one, well, depending on the time. Let's see what the traffic is like on our way out. If it's not too bad, then we'll run one trailer maybe into Dorval to start with. In case there's somebody waiting. But we shall find out. Unipro. Alrighty, hope you boys and girls are ready for a fun filled day! Alrighty, boys and girls, we are at the customer. We are on pulling out trailer number two. No park could be parking it really close to a puddle. I don't know if it's a good idea. See if I can get it so that the landing gear is not by the puddle. Now you guys can't see it, but Trying to push it over as close to that other trailer as possible without being too close. Eventually, I'm going to do uh, some good mirror shots for you guys here. Right now, I'm still uh, I'm way off there a bit. I'm trying to get this organized here. It's actually not too bad today. We didn't do too bad. Puddle is there, but it could be worse. We're right on the edge. Yeah, well, you can see that. Yeah, whatever. I know. Okay, so we've pulled out two trailers, and now we got to take that trailer and the one that's beside it that you can't see because it's backed up too far. The guy that dropped it there put it right into the bush almost. So. 
we're going to take them empty ones and i got to put them on the two doors over there and then we've done our two shunts for this morning uh we did 10 last friday so we don't sure how the day is going to go here mondays are usually a little bit quieter they're just getting going for the week and i'm late getting out here so a couple of trailers have already left so i missed out on those shunts but uh probably gonna have to take both these loaded trailers in to doorbell so we're just waiting to hear back so it's the start of another wonderful Alrighty, week Alrighty, boys and girls yes sir bob i don't even know if this is working very well but anyways we're done all my doors are covered except for the ltl door which i don't touch door 11 but all my other doors are good everyone's got an empty trailer in it uh the second one there they're loading right now but I don't have to worry about moving it till morning. Got my other load of trailers over there. Mondays are a dead day here. Holy crap. I didn't end up bringing anything to doorbell. Just sat here all day. Pulled the trailers out. Other trucks came and got them. That's about it. Pretty dead day. Boring. Played a lot on the computer. Slept. Took naps. Had lunch. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I mean, I did my delivery this morning in Montreal. There was supposed to be one out of Cowansville. And then they took me off of it. Would have been fine. It was dead today. I could have gone and got that and brought it to Dorval, But I don't know what's going on with that one. Because they didn't 100% take it off me. They just undispatched me from it. So I'll find out tomorrow because my dispatcher's gone for the day. 5.49. I guess I should, probably should have called him before 5 o'clock. Oh, well. We'll check with him in the morning. If that Cowansville one is still there, we'll go get it tomorrow. Because the overnight guy will come and drop an empty. And he'll take his loaded. And then I'll have an empty. I can go get that Cowansville. Although, there's one trailer in the corner that probably by then will have the order. And I can take it into Dorval. After I pull three trailers out of the door. I know it's exciting, isn't it? I'm still working on... I've got my camera mount here for the... Uh, to, to mount it uh, out there. On the mirror. Which I'm going to start doing soon. I'm just trying to think... If I mount it here on this mirror here, then it's easy enough for me to just, you know, reach out and put it in. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my second housing. And we'll probably do that. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out because I'll give you guys some multiple backing up videos. I mean, it's all the same area here, so it's not very hard. And I don't always cheat and pull ahead because a lot of times there's trailers here, so... You can't just pull straight and then back up. I like to actually, it's good practice, guys. Whenever you, you know, a lot of guys go, oh, we do the straight back up. And I know when I'm in the yard in Kitchener, I do the straight back up whenever possible. But in a place like this, there's no rush or anything like that. It's good practice because there's lots of space in between the trailers. So it's, it's just good practice just to do it. Back up whenever you can on an angle. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And I know some of you guys have been mentioning been having a hard time with it so you know a place like this is ideal and yes i'm getting paid to be here for those of you who are you know oh, what are you doing you... anyways i'm not gonna get into that there's a bunch of whiny asses that you know think i don't get paid for doing stuff like that but i get paid for it i got paid hourly this morning and i got paid for sitting here so works for me yeah we shunted six trailers and we did our delivery not a big day quiet day that's okay I think. We're going to have hot dogs tonight, I think. And that's what I'm thinking. Gonna be hot dogs. Alrighty. Tonight's dinner, like I said, is going to be a hot dog. I got three in there. They're actually turkey dogs. They're turkey dogs. Water's just about done. And we're going to put the water in there. And this is how you make hot dogs. Let's show you here real quick. Oh, unplug the kettle. Whew, I got to do with two hands here. Hold on. Put you guys down for a second. Ow, hot. Okay, pretty simple. Just pour in over the hot dogs till they reach the hot dog level. Hot dogs are now buried. And that's not it. And you take the lid and you lid it. And you let it sit. I like this type lid here because it won't pop off with the little clips on it. And now we're going to let it sit for about five minutes. And then we'll have hot dogs and, for dinner. And even though we're all the way out here in Granby, we are watching our one and only English channel. It happens to be the news right now, which is fine by me. 
I know. Isn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. Turkey dogs are ready to eat. Yes, sir, we Bob. Don't they look yummy? Yummy, yummy, yummy. And we got chips down in there. See, chips. Yep, uh, dogs. Turkey dogs. Turkey dogs. Ooh, yeah, baby.